Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And Candy Bird said she will never, ever do Girls Ultimate Trip. Nope, 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 nope. She said she done seen it, she done heard about it, and she ain't going to do it. I was like, okay, girl, okay. <coughs> but we got getting a story from Reality T, who poses the question or posted the answer to the question of joining the Ultimate Girls Trip um, series. Candy Burst explains why she would never do Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. Well, why not, Candy? Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's get into the story and find out. If you were hoping to see Candy Burris on one of Peacock's Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, I have some bad news for you. Mm -hmm. That's a no-go for Candy. N-O, no. Candy told U.S. Weekly, at this point, I don't see it happening because like anybody that I would possibly want to or felt comfortable being in a house with, they've already done it. Fans may remember seeing Candy Housewives or Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kenya Moore, and former peach holder Cynthia Bailey on the first season of the streaming platform's original series. The show premises takes different housewives from different cities and places them in a house together, typically on a tropical island. The season's cast was filmed in Turks and Caicos, while the second season, which featured housewives like Phage Parks, Vicki Gun Gunderson, Tamara Judd, and Dorinda Metley, and a few others, was filmed at the Bluestone Manor. The latter must have been a one-on-one -on -one or one-and-done as the new season coming soon was filmed in Thailand. Candy, who has been a mainstay on Real Housewives of Atlanta since season two, spoke about her comfortability with new people and even shared that her time on Celebrity Big Brother was torture. That's what she said. It was torture. I can't be with I can't be there with a whole bunch of different housewives of or for some cattiness. I'm like, I deal with enough doing Real Housewives of Atlanta. And then I'm doing this other show with my group Escape. I'm like, oh my God, I've done I'm done with all these different females in one place. Yep. Candy. You definitely wouldn't be dealing with the drama, especially since you only film for a little over a week. You all are definitely expected to make a splash on the other hand candy mentions that she would be down for an eva marcel also featuring <coughs> also featured on real house ultimate girl strip <coughs> season two and since it returned to real housewives of atlanta i'm always down for a good eva comeback like that's my girl and then obviously i always gonna love cynthia bailey that's my girl love her Eva's presence on the Real House Ultimate Girls Trip 2 was definitely a refreshing feeling since the two-season Housewives showcased a different side of her while filming with some of the Bravo greats in the Brookshires. So what do y'all think about Candy? Some I never, ever would, okay? Never, ever would. She would never appear. Never say never, Candy. Candy, you like getting them bags. You don't miss a bag, baby. You don't miss a bag. You don't miss a beat or a bag. So, I don't know why you came up with this idea of you wouldn't do it. If they asked you, hell, you did, uh, what's that, mass single and these other things I hear. Honey, baby, please. How do you say honey boom? <laughs> But that's what she's saying, and that's her word. She's sticking to it. And that's all I got for this video, guys. Like and love, we gotta have more. But you know what? What I did find interesting 
is um sometimes when you're on the ultimate girls trip what i notice is they have like a foe there with you or they'll bring up a scenario of where you were involved in a what do you call it a negative experience with one of your cast mates and i'm like woo child wouldn't it be good if they got phaedra uh on the show and it was a surprise guest coming and candy didn't know <clears throat> who was gonna be on the show and she messed around and <laughs> And open up the door and Phaedra was sitting down. Wouldn't that be something, y'all? That would be the highest rating show. show showcasing Candy Burst and Phaedra Parks and the whole drama surrounding them. You know what I'm saying? That would be a key, key and a ha-ha. Child, I would love to see that. Or it could be. Let me see who else hadn't been on the show for a while. Well, she was the pretty one. She was the one that was pretty much in trouble where it could have affected her attorney's license and Candy could have sued. Uh, I'm just trying to think of another person that didn't fare well and they had to be thrown off the show uh, for different reasons. But yeah, that's the only one I can think of, cause that's the um definitely uh, a story that have not been closed, as we would say. It was abruptly closed because I guess Bobo didn't want any litigation against them, especially on what Phaedra had presented as a storyline plus truth that Candy was trying to do something as uh you know the raping situation and the drug use. Um, saying that she was going to do that to Portia and all that kind of stuff. But yes, okay, that would have been good. Mm, that would have been a good storyline to heighten up as well as to break down the barriers and the walls of what truly happened and what truly was being said. And one day Frazier would throw Carlos um, King under the bus for definitely giving her that information, allegedly. Mmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. That would have been a good play, though. That would have been a good play. But I guess Candy wouldn't be able to handle it well either. She's so emotional. She's so, so emotional. Uh, But I guess everybody would, or anybody would be emotional if they were going to have someone say untruths about them. And it cost them their livelihood and somewhat a sense uh, was going to give them jail time for doing uh, something like that, that it came out to be true. So I understand, I understand, but from a messy point of view, a messy stance, we would want to see that. You know what I'm saying? We would like to see it play out, see them get it together, uh, get it, get on each other, meaning Phaedra and Candy, and try to hash things out again, you know. But Candy be like, I'm going to drag somebody in this bitch. She'll be something like that. And we'll be like, girl, we ain't got time to fight. We ain't got time to fight. Even though you may want it. You may want to. You feel like you need to. But we don't want to see that. No, we don't. We want you to uh, get back with your words. But we know you, you can't do that, Candy, either. <clears throat> You're quick to drive to say, well, you know, let's handle this with these hands. Let's get these hands going and all that kind of stuff. But you ain't gonna be the first one that draw the hand, so we'll give you that. You're not you're gonna be like, if they come for you, you're gonna get it straightened out real quick, fast in a hurry with them hands. But we know you ain't like Portia. Portia just jump off. You know, you stay her baby ugly, she jump off. You stay her uh, her mama uh is using her or you know, just something derogatory about her mama, she'll jump off. Uh just anything like that. Cause you know, it's like Words don't hurt nobody. It's when you put your hands on. You get physical. That hurts. But that's all we got for this video, guys. And uh, please definitely share and like the videos. If you don't want to share, that's cool. Just subscribe to the channel and like the videos. All right? That's what we want you to do when you come into the house. Those are the first two things you should do. When you're ringing that doorbell, that means you're subscribing. When I open the door to let you in, you're liking. Okay? That's tit and tat. Free and full. That's how we go. Okay? Don't you know? But anyway, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. Gotta go. Bye.